All right, welcome back. We're on to part two, getting uh, getting the snow blower and uh, getting it ready for the snow blower and the push blade. So I've already taken taken off the auto connect bracketry that was under there, and uh, minor pain in the butt. But now we're going to put it, this bracket on right here. It has a drive shaft on it. Now mine came from the dealer and this shaft will not move. This shaft will not move back and forth. It's wedged with this plate in the bearing. So I don't know if I'm going to have to unwedge it or not. So this is something that uh, I'm going to have to figure out. Or is it okay to go ahead and install it like that? Leave comments below uh, for those that are really familiar with this. Now, the second thing is, in order to put this bracket on, you got to crank the wheels really hard to either the right or the left on a 2021-2022 model. They change things a little bit. So you can't leave things pointed. If you go back to the summertime when I was putting the uh, the uh, push blade on, you'll see that. So I've already got it, and uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing connected. All right. So here we are. We're down here. I'm gonna pull that. <clears throat> Oh, there's a rock wedging it. How, how great is that? Give it a little love tap. There, there the rock fell out of it. Uh, I didn't want it to fall on the, on the drive shaft. Set that aside. Got our pins there. <clears throat> Ooh, it, I think I think it just slid forward. You know, it'd be so much simpler. Hey, it's moving. With that out of there. Yes, it's so much simpler with that out of there. I guess it unwedged itself. This happened with that other bracket and then it loosened up and slid out now Make sure I'm not doing something wrong. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. You know, when you're when you're a first timer at everything, you just don't always know. Okay, when you get the bracket on. There's a plug for the snow plow. And this plug, from what they tell me, is to uh, 
so that when you go in reverse it doesn't it doesn't shut the tractor off like it does with the mowing deck it's kind of an override but if you look here at this plug <clears throat> there's a cap on it so we want to go over the over the uh, steering linkage and plug it in and then uh, put this with that bracket that way it's not lost I'm putting it on top of the mowing deck all right we're under the tractor what I want to do is I want to put this back in if yeah it is <laughs> this might not be so easy I need to get this slid back on it hadn't come off all summer long then it slides right off and now it doesn't want to go back on. I'll be with you all again in a minute. All right, I got the uh, I got the front spline back in. There is an inner and an outer carrier bearing. That's why I was having a hard time with it. Doesn't just go through one; it goes through two. And uh, they have a an octagon shape, a hexagon shape. Uh, and and you have to you have to line those up so you can only get it through one then you got to turn the other bearing on the outside and then line that up and then bring it through again so all the things you have to learn when you get a tractor for the first time and uh, you've never had to tinker with them before like this so anyhow it wasn't that big of a deal once I was able to get two hands on it from the front side seemed to be the easiest way to go. Let's finish connecting it up. Alright, so as you can see right there, that's the uh, that's the uh, back carrier bearing, the back side, obviously I'm under the tractor, but there's another one identical to it on the front side, and they're independent of each other. And that's what the dilemma was, but it's moving freely and going in and out so let's connect this thing <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and finish connecting this thing and of course you gotta line these splines up what about that collar the collar seems to be in a locked back position I thought this was going to be the easiest part. What the hell? Let me see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. Now that front is stuck. <clears throat> I think it just moved. Thank you. 
So it was all the way back. Oop. And that, and that's that. So not quite as easy as they make it out to be on TV. Here we are in the uh, the backyard where Ray uh, hook all this up. The part that I have <clears throat> that goes to this snow blower is the mounting bracket is the same as what would be used on the push blade. Let me show you on on most. On most uh, snowblower brackets, there's only one hydraulic, and that's the uh, that's the tipping up and tipping down. But this one also goes side to side, you know, for the uh, for the push blade. And uh, so my curiosity is, when the drive shaft comes through here. How's all that going to work? Is it going to put the little drive shaft for the uh, snow blower in a bind? I've never seen anybody operate a snow blower that had, you know, the up and down and the side to side. So, that is my curiosity. And also, if you have the push blade, you'd just be using this bracket. And as you can see, this bracket has two two holes it has a front and back hole for a front and back carrier bearing and uh, so it's the exact same mounting plate for the snow blower as it is for the push blade now of course you don't want to use the snow blower uh, assembly in the summertime when you're pushing dirt see so that's what it looks like So, let's get this hooked up and see how it goes. The sun's going down. I've been putzing around. And uh, let's get it done. There we go. Hey girl. Hey, you dogs or something else. Remember the last time this summer, how many fittings I found loose that just weren't? I think I just found another one. And there we have it.
Okay. Let's see if we can get this uh, hey, little spider. We're golden. I'm happy. Most people that have a snowblower, I guess it just pitches up and down. I don't, I don't know if it goes side to side. I don't think it does. I haven't seen any. Uh, I don't know if there's any benefit to it in the snow, but that's the bracket that I have, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But in order to... Uh, in order to uh, rotate the chute right here, we got to have another set of hoses for the third function uh, in order for that to work. So let's get this hooked up and make sure everything works. And then I want to I want to engage it and see how that drive shaft does with it being pitched back and forth. Well, that gum, these hoses are long. They're like really long. So the colors I have are green and orange on the third function. And on here, they're gray and yellow. Just to rotate the chute so if I don't like how it corresponds, I'm going to put the gray with the green. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put the yellow with the orange there we go I don't know if I should run this through here or not I guess that's one of the things I'm going to find out the hard way Let's fire it up and see what happens.
right. Well, there we have it. I know this has been a little tedious. It's been a little tedious for me, but I can't get out of the seat to check the drive shaft when it's spinning when I turn it to the left or turn it to the right. I can't, I can't get out of the seat to look, but I could hear, and I'm hard of hearing, but I could hear that it was, it was doing fine up until a certain point, and then the pitch changed. And, uh, and that's why I think I, I might be going, you know, I don't want to go past that point. That'd be going too far. Uh, so, but everything seems to be working great. So I do need to reverse my, uh, my third function hoses because I, <clears throat> it's backwards of the way I think it should be. It could go either way, depending on how your brain works. <laughs> No comments on that, please. And, uh, <clears throat> but it seems to be, it seems to be good. So I'm happy. So that's the end of that. I think it's time for dinner. We'll see you the next time when the snow flies.